Previously, we heard how Mash saved his father from Brad, and Brad offered Mash to join the Magic Academy in order to live in peace. Episode 2, The Entrance Exam for Easton Magic Academy is very difficult to pass. One with superior magical power can pass the exam and join the Academy. The truth is that less than 3% of applicants are admitted every year. The proctor, named Claude Lucci, is watching the new applicants when he hears some weird noise from the ground. He is shocked to see Mash lifting pounds for the magic exam. He thinks he's just imagining it and calms down. Then he looks through the window again, and he's horrified to see Mash reading a fitness book while sitting on an invisible chair. Meanwhile, Brad and Regro are spying on Mash activities in the entrance exam. Claude underestimated Mash and believed he would fail the exam. As Claude appears at the examination place, everyone is amazed to see him because Claude has quite a reputation in his academics and believes him to be the upcoming mage. Everyone is praising Claude, but Mash was not concerned about him, which makes Claude angry. As the first test begins, Claude uses his magic to create a desk on the ground and make the question paper and pen fall from the sky. Everyone is wondering about the magic power of Claude. Meanwhile, Mash roasted him again. Without knowing it, Mash has been gaining bad influence from the beginning. Somehow, Claude wants to fail Mash in the exam. As the test begins, everyone starts worrying when they see the question paper because all the questions are moving randomly. Claude puts some magic spells on the question paper. In order to pass the exam, one must undo the spell and rearrange the questions in order. Regro and Brad think Mash would fail the first test. Mash asks the question to stop moving because he has no magic power to undo the spell. But the question is still moving, which makes him lose his patience. So he broke the pen and told the question to stop moving. Fortunately, his action made the question stop moving, and they aligned perfectly. Brad and Regro were horrified to see that Mash was able to undo the spell cast by Claude Lucci. Mash gives the test paper to Claude and passes the first exam. After that, he used his physical abilities to do some magic tricks, like lifting boulders with his finger and running on water, pretending like he had magic powers. Mash somehow managed to pass every test. This makes Claude worried because he wants to fail Mash somehow. As Claude began the next test, he asked the applicant named Lemon Irvine to distract Mash and keep away from the destination so that Claude would make her pass the exam. She deceived Mash multiple times and made him follow the wrong path, she even tied him up by using her magic power. She tells him the truth, she had a reason to keep him away from the goal. But Mash wants to join the Magic Academy in order to live in peace with his father and can't lose this opportunity, so he breaks the iron cuffs and runs for the exit. Suddenly, the Guardian of the Labyrinth appears and asks for a riddle to be solved. She tries to use her magic power, but the Guardian slaps her wand away. She feels guilty for cheating, and she realizes this is the punishment for cheating someone, so she accepts her punishment. When the Guardian was about to punish her, Mash appeared and knocked the Guardian down with one hit. Even though she deceived Mash, he saved her and said sorry because he felt her reason to join the Magic Academy was almost the same as his. However, the time is going to end soon, and Claude was happy because he believed this time Mash would fail the exam. Apparently, Mash broke straight through the wall, and they both reached their destinations on time. All the applicants tell Mash to leave the Academy for cheating. So Lemon confessed herself and told the truth about the order given by Claude to deceive Mash so that Claude would make her pass the exam. She accepted to deceive Mash for the sake of her poor family. On the other hand, Headmaster Wahlberg is watching this entire scenario from his office. Lemon's confession destroyed Claude's reputation among the students, Claude became mad and challenged them to fight if they wanted to pursue it further. However, Mash broke the Claude wand like nothing and stopped the spell, which made everyone scream. At that moment, Headmaster Wahlberg appears and tells everyone he will take charge of the examination from here. He takes Mash to his office for the final interview. The Headmaster begins the interview by asking Mash why he wants to join the Magic Academy. Mash replies that he wants to live in peace with his family. Vice Headmasters and Counselors didn't accept his answer. But Wahlberg accepted his answer and asked the next question as a reason for saving the girl and risking failing the test. Mash says he helped her, 
If not, he would regret it. The headmaster finds Mash to be the type who acts before thinking, he even laughs at Mash's answers. The headmaster tells Mash he does not understand the ways of the world. But Mash still sticks to his morals. So the headmaster wants to test Mash. Would he do the same action if he were supposed to face the stronger opponent? So he summoned one of the powerful ancient spells, saying the spell would transfer his beloved one's soul into the doll, and if the knife stabbed the doll, then the soul would never return to the right owner. Mash has only his father, so he punched the knife to break the spell, but the spell did not break, and he started bleeding. His punch did not make a single scratch on the thing. That spell is stronger than Mash, like the headmaster said. So Mash holds the knife with his bare hands to save the doll because he knows that the headmaster can't cast the spell for a long time. Everyone is shocked, including the headmaster, by seeing the Mash's action. He believed Mash power could be used to help people. So he tells him the truth. He was testing him, but Mash is serious and says if he had to face the headmaster, he would knock him down with his fist. Wahlberg is surprised by his willpower and ideology, so he welcomes Mash to the Easton Magic Academy. On the first day in the magic school, his professor teaches them how to open the lock by using magic, but Mash opens the lock by breaking it with his hand, which makes his professor scream. His classmate Finn Ames is a continuing student, he does not like Mash and never wants to be his roommate. However, he ended up as Mash's roommate. A Suzel Mash took off their room door. He even introduced his muscles and their names to Finn. Finn realized his kindness and told Mash to ask for any help if needed. So Mash asked how to become the Divine Visionary. As Finn explained the procedure for earning coins from their curriculum activities, Mash passed out. Mash pulled out his favorite cream puffs and offered one of them to his new friend Finn.